Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new Leagues video. If you guys missed any of the previous uploads, there's gonna be a playlist in the description you can watch from episode 1 all the way to where we are right now. We're starting on 2168 total, almost 300 million experience, 25,000 League points, haven't been going for League points at all, I've just been doing a bunch of PVMing, and in the last episode we finally got an Infernal Cape, so for this episode we'll pretty much be working towards obtaining the absolute best best in slot possible gear that we can find. Now firstly, I'll probably be continuing the Hydra, maybe get all the way to 99 Slayer, I'll also look to finish 99 Prayer, and alongside PVMing goals, we're also working on maxing our League's account, so all of those things combined is what we're working on. I really do hope you guys will enjoy today's video, and let's get right into it. So I'm currently working on obtaining 2000 Crystal Shards, what that's gonna allow me, I will be able to corrupt my Bofa, making it basically never lose charges. And the best way for me to do this at the moment is to thieve these elves and get these enhanced crystal teleport seeds because when I toss those in I believe I'll get like 450 shards if I'm not mistaken so let's try to trade them in enhanced teleport seed oh shit I'll get 600 so now I'm on 700 I'm almost halfway done so if I get two more of those I'm basically done 18.8 million xp and we got four more so still 7 million xp to go seems like I will hopefully be able to get it once again we're trading them in 600 more and look at that uh, the next 600 will do it basically so super excited to have this done and uh yeah, not bad at all. There it is. We now have, perfect, over 2,000 shards. And I wasn't sure if that is something I wanted to do, but now I'm definitely sure. Let's go ahead and make this thing corrupted. Look at this, corrupted, a bofa, 1,900 and something shards. Oh me, oh my. Would you look at this absolute beauty of a bow? It looks so good. I like the red of it as well. It's wonderful. Nice. As I always mention, my downtime is spending being a monkey. And, well, this is going to be lap number 500. So, I'm one-fourth of the way. When I take a look at the monkey backpack, I currently have the zombie monkey. But if I transform it into a maniacal monkey, there it is. You see? And now if I wear it, that is 50 points. So, only 50 points for this one. But a 1,000 and 2,000 variant will give me a lot more points we're all the way to 95 agility already i'm gonna do something else for the time being and then later on when i have downtime again i'll be doing a monkey laps and keep it going 98 farming one more level to go i wonder if the last year's tree is actually a task it sure isn't <laughs> well that's unlucky but right, that's like diary so maybe i need to like cut it or something oh shit okay dude that's gonna be a lot of battle staffs from one celestius tree that is 78 celestius from that and i think probably the task requires me to do something with that let's see and then lastly i need to do that and that is an elite task apparently well nice we'll take it well i have a lot of battle staffs in my bank now and i can just plant another one and here i should be finishing my 99 farming as well there it is check a grom mahogany tree 99 farming obtained at the same time another 99 on the account getting pretty close to maxing obviously the cape is going to be kind of useful and my mahogany died that is unlucky i'll keep planting farming is very easy to achieve 25 million in i believe just running all around the game completing the tasks that i have never completed but i prepared to complete that is checking a grown colquat tree never gonna do that again but thanks for the xp and thanks for the task now the dead 99 is out of the way i really hope i can get the goddamn herblore relics i still do not have them well i'm basically just slowly cleaning the herbs because the thing is i should have gotten them so many times already but i simply don't look at the fragments it's the only only thing I don't have unlocked and I haven't put any lamps or anything on herblore and look I just need this one more herb cleaning xp and efficient potion creation so I'm making them one at a time just so I have higher chance of obtaining them I got 75 herblore all of which is trained manually haven't really put any like lamps on it and I still don't have it so I'm not really sure what's up with that and uh, hopefully I can get lucky and get one of them I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on chaos druids over here and just clean every single herb I get all right here is 96 agility and I do believe I'm in a mood for a farm run and then a little bit of Zolra. I decided before Zolra I'm gonna clean some herbs and I actually got a fragment but is it the right one? Finally oh my god I am 78 herblor obviously not that much but I've been doing so many things hoping to get it and I actually got it which is sick and uh, if you're wondering what this does it is just a straight up amazing fragment so basically when I'm making potions 25% chance for it to be a 4 dose but once it's tier 3 you always create 4 dose 
close and you save secondary ingredients. So this is gonna make Herblore from one of the most annoying skills to one of the most fun skills. So let's just get leveling that fragment as fast as possible. Starting on KC84, let's see how long I stay at Zolra for. Tanzanite Fang? No, that's the third blowpipe. Damn it, I did like both of the other ones and I'm only getting blowpipes. I mean, I'll take it. That is 92 KC. Um, it's gonna be nice for the collection, but that's about it. 100 KC, exactly. I believe there is a task for 250 and 500 and maybe even more, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, 100 down the way, nice. Quite a lot of AFKing later and we prepared for 99 runecrafting. But the way we prepared for it was with 99 mining, so that's very good. We also have 53,000 delay shards, which we can convert into essence, which we can then use to get our 99 runecrafting, basically. And yeah, at the moment, I'm just pretty focused on maxing the account because I'm not that far off. And at the same time, I'm also maxing my mixologist. So if we take a look at this, it is almost maxed out. As soon as this is on 8,000, I can start working on 99 Herblore as well. So, yeah, going pretty good. Going to be doing a bit of rune crafting before I get bored. We are starting with 75. Let's see how long we can do this for. Here is level 80 rune crafting, and I think I'll be doing more of rune crafting after I finish 99 crafting because my teleports are gonna be free and I'm not gonna need to use a ring of duelings. Not that that is a problem at all. I should have a ton of them, but right now I'm gonna see if I can get a couple of easy crafting levels. We have seven. 1000 flags from Zolra and we're gonna be using uh, this spell spin flags but first I gotta change my fragments and make sure I utilize the rumple bowstring now what this fragment is going to do is it is magically going to spin more bowstrings if we take a look it's maxed out so spin flag spell produces 27 flags at once instead of five so how this is going to look is literally boom and this is gonna be amazing crafting XP, obviously, thanks to Zolra, thanks to all these flags. Let's see how much XP we can get. It looks like we're getting absolute ridiculous amount of crafting XP now. Unfortunately, I have very limited amount of flags. But as you can see, 7.5 million an hour is actually a reasonable thing you could expect from here. So pretty cool. I'm gonna do this obviously till the flax runs out and we'll see what level we get to. So this is pretty much how I can do this the fastest way possible. I set my bank in a way where I can just deposit everything, grab more flax and then immediately click under. I don't even need to click escape or leave the bank or anything like that. This is how I'm gonna do it and it's gonna be fast. It's gonna be good. And there is 90 crafting. The next 99 I wanna get is fire making and in the process I wanna stack a bunch of hard clues because in one of the following episodes I'll be opening a ton of them and obviously winter thought should be very very fast now how do I find the winter thought world I've got absolutely no idea but I'm just gonna guess it's gonna be the most populated leagues world I am glad to see the game still going and let's spend some time here couple of points for the very first crate and six hard clue scrolls in one run uh, I noticed that no matter even if I do take the fletching relic I can't uh, fletch the full inventory of logs so I'm just not gonna bother fletching whatsoever uh, I'm gonna open this one but from now on I'm stacking them and there it is 99 fire making I'm gonna go ahead and finish this run and then we're gonna open all the chests from 97 to 99 all right nice amount of hard clue scrolls 51 and let's quickly open these crates we're just looking for any uniques and uh, that's one bruma torch and that is everything okay so yeah nothing crazy out of those but I only did eight crates obviously that was enough for 99 I am going to do some uh, hydra and I'm gonna try to do it with zero prayer the, I might regret this decision but let's give it a shot I mean why not and the idea is I just want to finish the task i still have a ton of them though so this can take me like many many hours to finish but i'm getting my prayer xp i'm getting the slayer xp and i'm also working on the drops that i'll need for chambers of xeric so three things at once let's see if we can get lucky 92 prayer i think that does it we just got a hydra's heart i think that is a full brimi ring if i go and make it that is not really what i was going for but i mean i'm not gonna complain getting it obviously i do believe it is a simple task all we gotta do is combine all of those together and we now have have a brimstone ring if we wear it uh, 125 actually that's a uh Quite a big point uh, point booster for that one. We'll take it. Not really sure where I'll be using it, but yeah, not bad at all. 100 Hydras completed for, a, what is it? 1 to 5 points again, I think. Yeah, that's right. 1 to 5 points. And I think right now it is time to go do a little bit of skilling. So what I'm trying to do is I'm like hopping, right? I do a bit of PVM, back to some skilling, back to some PVM, and just jumping like whatever I feel like doing. 25 Hydras in a row. I mean, it takes about 1 to 2 minutes to get a kill, I'd say. So... 
Took me about an hour, maybe a bit less, and now we go to something else. Time to do more Sepulchre. I still have a task, but I need to buy a bunch of these. So I'm going once again back to the sizable mode, and let's do some laps. I've already done my speedrun tasks, so I'm just gonna do this for 99 agility, basically. There is a task to get a ring in this place, so I mean, if I were to get lucky, that would be amazing. And not this time around, though, but I already have enough hallowed marks for my first tool, and my first tool is actually going to be a grapple. It's also gonna Gonna act as a Saradomen item for me if I ever want to include that perk. So looking at that, Hallowed Grapple for 100 marks, straight up buy that and perfect. Do we get a ring here? No, but we get a ton of marks and we can buy our second tool now. My second option is going to just be the Hallowed Focus. Let's go ahead and buy that one. Our next purchase is going to be the hallowed symbol. Let's go ahead and wear that as well. Very cool. Haven't really done any barrows, but I have a strange old lockpick now. So if I do, I can just keep the doors. And honestly, with a 3x increase, I might uh, just go ahead and do. Maybe get a full Darok. Yeah, you know, that could be very enjoyable to test out. So maybe if I get a couple of these, we'll be pretty happy. Got all the way up to 97 agility already. Let's see if we get lucky on this chest. I think I've done about... Eight so far, so not too bad, not too good. I mean, we'll take it. Every time I do the whole run, I mean, this last one is like 100k XP, I think. Yeah, 93k. I'm only going to be doing this until I finish all my tools. At that point, we're then moving on back to being a monkey. Just making sure I have the hallowed symbol, I have the focus, and I have the grapple. My next purchase is going to be the hammer. Oh, and that actually did it. I don't know if I even need a ring then. If that gave me the points... Maybe I willed it. Obtain every hallowed tool. Yeah, I don't actually think I need to do the hallowed ring. So I think we're good to go and be a monkey again. Up to 680 laps as a monkey and we're now 98 agility. So about an hour and 20 minutes left to go to finish this one off. And after that, uh, well, we'll see where we go. Basically, we'll see where we go. I definitely want to finish this one though because it's one of the slowest ones. So after I have this one done, the motivation to finish the others will be much, much higher. 811 laps as a monkey. A couple extra laps as a non-monkey on the other courses and just like that after we hop here we now have 99 agility probably one of the slowest ones to do if you do it as a monkey and you still get about a million xp an hour so it's not too bad but it definitely took you know a couple of hours to complete now taking a look at the account where are some of the easy levels we could go for obviously for smithing and fletching i'll have to train a little bit more mining i'll work towards 25 million mining xp in the future anyways for some extra points and whatnot but i think slayer prey and rune crafting. I see this rune crafting. I want to train it. And also, I see this crafting. I'm honestly just gonna probably go ahead and mine a bunch of gold bars, actually. And then I'll turn those into crafting stuff, like uh, Ring of Duelings or whatever it is. Okay, I'm in the mood for some mining. So, with mining, I'm also gonna be training smithing. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm also gonna be alking all my alkables. And then when I don't have alkables, I'll be fletching all my uh, steel dart tips. The reason why I'm alking, you may be wondering, why would you even need money at this point? I gotta make like 300 mil at some point in this league uh, in order to buy demonic throne and in order to buy a crown which is like 250 mil and this is how it's gonna look like so every time the rock depletes i'm gonna go ahead and alk whatever i have to alk and once my alks are gone every time the rock depletes i'll be fletching that way i'm kind of working on multiple things at the same time all right i ended up alking all my items and we are now on 18 million which is you know a good number at the beginning of the video i did say i was gonna do a bunch of hydra but then i kind of got carried away with a bunch of skilling so i think I think, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do some Hydra, but this time I am going to try and do it in full melee. I'll try to find an AFK way to do it since I have Blood Fury and whatnot, and we'll see how it goes. Before I go, I'm making some super combat pots, and because I'm not gonna make a ton, I, I CBA putting the right relics on or whatever. This is all good and all, but I forgot I can't go in here with Bando's boots because I would be constantly taking damage. I mean, I could take Bando's coif and shit boots. Uh, let's give it a shot. It's probably gonna be worse than than, than ranging, but uh, I mean if it works I'll just try it one trip who cares. Let's do it I mean that felt really nice not gonna lie I can just afk with the uh, with piety on the kills are super simple you just pray melee, you lure it, and then you AFK, basically, so nice. In conclusion, melee Hydra is so much better than range Hydra, like, no joke. All I do is I pray Mage and Piety, my runes allow me to use this all the time. Obviously, Blood Fury heals me, full bandos deals, like, crazy damage, and I kind of can just AFK the waves. So, um, I never even switch to range, because even when I get hit, I'll heal back up. And I'm getting some really nice times, like, one-minute kills, basically, and it's so little effort... 
Um, I absolutely love it. Now, if I had the War Blessing and on top of that a Slayer Helmet, it would be even faster. Uh, but it's so AFK, I didn't even know I can have both of these on all the time. And my prayer never drops. So I don't need prayer potion, don't need anything. I just run here, kite it. Obviously, it's a bit of downtime when you kite it like that. And the kills are just so flawless and so easy. Level 98 Slayer, just one more level to go. We get some Dragon Battle Axes. So I brought my regular Alks. They're not like improved Alks. But the reason why I brought them is because I genuinely think I can stay here forever. I only depend on the combat potions. One more Slayer level to go. I'm ready. I don't think this is it. I don't think Hydra Tail is it, man. I don't think it's it. I think this is a fail, man. Oh, it's a disaster. Oh, well. Uh, we keep it going. Absolutely loving the full melee setup. Uh, this is what our inventory looks like at the end. A bunch of deep bones. I think I now have enough for 99. However, I definitely want to finish this 28 Hydras. Just because I want to be done with this task. And then hopefully never do it again. Almost done with 99 Slayer as well. It's coming together very, very nicely. Well, that's another unique. I don't know if I can utilize these anywhere. Some dragon knives, but uh, yeah, definitely not the boss I want to go dry at. There is a task to complete 250 of them. Uh, I have 17 left though right now. I don't like this boss too much, but melee actually made it a lot better than how it used to be. Let's finish this last 17, I guess. All right, then starting on another ring. Not the drop I want, man. Come on, just a little bit of luck. Let me get the, 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 the damn thing and we're, we're good. I finally got a drop. Hydra leather. I can now make uh, the I think this is for the boots so this is gonna be super useful uh, no for the gloves I mean I can make like the best gloves with that another drop a hydra's fang we're almost at the second ring right now not sure if I'm happy or sad but three more kills to go and I'm done Woo. all right then I successfully unburnt and finished hydra uh, task just one task for some reason this place I absolutely hate if you take a look at my inventory it looks very good but now let's go make this into a how do you even make this, honestly? I've, I don't even know, uh, but I can make better gloves, basically. All right, so we have a strange machine right here. I believe if I use the dig side pendant on this thing, I now get to teleport to rune dragons. We can now make those into ferocious gloves. Let's see if this is a task. It should definitely be. And let's wear those. Ooh, 125. We'll take it. Not bad at all. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna utilize all my bones that I have from Hydra, which, by the way, were almost 99 Slayer as well. And we're gonna use those in the wilderness and we're gonna see what prayer level we get. Hopefully 99, uh, but maybe not. I don't know if I have enough. Haven't done any calculations. We'll just see where we get to. There is 98 prayer. I do think that's a point task because we just reached 126 combat. I hope that 156 bones is enough for 99 prayer. I'm might get very close and then after that obviously we also want to jump and do our 99 slayer well this is all the bones i've left and it's almost as if i calculated it even though i didn't it is just it, it just came out perfectly really i think and one more bone there it is, 99 prayer also accomplished on the account. Looking at the stats, it's starting to look very, very nice right now. So yeah, I think Slayer is just like a no-brainer thing. But maybe I take like a task of blue dragons and I go do some Vorkath. Uh, I do need to kill 50 Vorkath for an assembler and that would be like a nice thing to go for. So I'm a pretty lazy man and I don't want to make super anti-fire potions. So I'm just going to see if I can do it without them, honestly. Obviously, I'm good when it comes to prayer. I can just permanently use these two prayers all the time. I need to change my spell book so I can deal with the zombified spawns though really quickly. Blue dragons accepted. No idea what to expect with my stats and uh, no potions but I have a lot of life still so who knows maybe we'll be fine. Yeah it looks like I'm not taking any damage whatsoever so no potions needed. This would obviously be a lot faster with something else than blade of Seldor. Ooh, would you look at that dragon plate skirt. I know for a fact I haven't even done this task yet so that's another task for just equipping that. Thank you very much game and Obviously, the drops here I will also be able to utilize for my crafting training later on. And we'll do this until 99 Slayer. My BGS hit like 100, so this skill should be really, really fast. And there it is. More tasks completed. Oi, oi, oi. Look at that. Hard task, elite task, master task, master combat task, 10 elite task. What the f- How much did I get? I just got 550 points for two Vorkath kills. All right, well, I guess we are chasing people on the leaderboards right now. You already know it's happening.
that is kind of insane though, wow. Bro, I probably just skyrocketed like 50 ranks from that. Oh, and Dragonstones are gonna be useful to create a bunch of glories and whatnot to increase my jewelry box in my bank. So all of these drops are gonna actually come in very, very handy very, very soon. And these are our first Dragon Bolts. Now, fun fact, I don't have ACB yet. I'll go for all the drops in the game after maxing. That's my plan at least. And there it is, 99 Slayer on Vorgath achieved very very cool one more kill and we get a task for doing 15 in one go so i'm definitely going for that very quickly and there it is 15 in a row without leaving thank you very much and loot this up and let's get more combat potions and it looks like we are not going to be needing 50 kill count because we got it right here vorkaf's head perfect 22 kill count is all it took now all i need to do is go make it into an assembler after speaking to ava we are now able to get an assembler i'm gonna assume this is a task it should be there it is 50 pointer we'll take it and now i need to use all these crystal keys to get a bunch of dragon stones and then i'm gonna upgrade my house a little bit we now have a bunch of dragon stone let's make those into some jewelry first we gotta buy a couple of gold leaves and they go up by 3k so if i trade it again and then i need five more so a lot of money going into those gold leaves right now i think that's all of them that i will need making my very first boss layer display and i believe if i toss this jar in here that is a pretty decent task actually 125 and it actually looks beautiful as well okay i think this is what i charge everything but the glories that is true and now i have everything i need wait what about wealth how do i charge ring of wealth only in fountain of rune okay well i guess we're going to the wilderness as well we now have a fully upgraded jewelry box and i think my goal right now is to complete all the construction tasks i can since it is 99 there are some very easy points i might as well do it i also want to create a pool uh, just so i have the convenience of well all the teleports in my house basically i'm pretty sure i never did this but if i move this to privedness that's a simple one. We build a very quick stash unit and we fill it up. That's easy points right there. Quickly building a mahogany portal for more points. This is very expensive what I'm doing right now. I need to get myself a ton of these marble blocks, then more gold leaves. And my money is just going right now. There we go. I think I just spent about 6 million on all of that. But I do believe that exactly how much I need. I hope I didn't miscalculate it. It's kind of late, so maybe I fucked up. We'll see. One of the things we gotta do is a portal nexus and this is where the expensive stuff happens so if i now upgrade it uh, i can now create a gilded portal nexus and that's a one two five task now on top of that i need to teleport with this thing but for that uh, well, that basically there's more things i gotta do splashing away all the money that i have i mean i don't really have use for it anyway so there's 50 more for the gilded altar never gonna use this thing and lastly let's also go ahead and make this thing the pool obviously i need to fully upgrade this thing but i need to find a way to get stamina potions and whatnot and as soon as i get a spirit seed i'm also gonna be making the spirit tree and fairy ring however didn't get a spirit seed just yet and then my house is pretty much complete Let's finish upgrading this pool though. Very quickly buying an Amylase pack. I don't know how to say this. And then we're gonna make some stamina potions out of those. And now we have the 10 staminas required in order to upgrade our pool. First upgrade, second upgrade. Here is one more. And lastly, I'm gonna need some anti-venoms, gold leaves and blood runes. And we're fully done. And there it is. I'm surprised this isn't a task. Well, maybe it is. Let's just try it. Yeah, it's not a task, but it's gonna look cool for our house. I spent hours mining this salt, but I now have enough to actually use this nexus move this waste up there troll stronghold and save and close and confirm all my salt is gone but now I'm able to teleport to waste. I did all of that for 50 points. <laughs> I spent hours doing this, by the way, no joke. But now I have this herb, herb patch right here if I want to do some farm runs again. And I also have an ability to teleport to this place as well. It's a bit unlucky. I wish it teleported me there, but I just need to go around, basically. I've been doing a lot of smithing, making more steel dart tips, which will also pay for my fletching. So I started on 13 million mining XP, ended up mining about 6,000 steel bars, and now... I got from 90 to 96 smithing, just making these dart tips, and I still have a couple extra. Um, yeah, that's definitely my next 99 I'm working on, and then 
while I'm working on the other 99s, I'll also be working on 99 fletching, all at the same time, basically. And now, finally, my mixologist is also level 3, which is going to make the training of Herblore so much easier. I only need to get 14 secondaries, and I'm good to go pretty much forever. So as soon as I'm done with 99 smithing, I guess I'll work on Herblore a little bit, actually. And here we go, another 99 on the account. This time, we have 99 smithing, 1 to 5 points yet again, and I do believe now it's going to be time to move on to Herblore. Herb lore. Uh, I'll utilize all my herbs, get enough secondaries and whatnot, and um, we start on 83. We'll see what level we end up on. Let's test this out then, shall we? So, if I grab all my stuff, this should always stay there. So, I can basically just keep doing that. It's a bit confusing, but there it is. Making 20 range pots as well. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at this. I feel like 99, we're gonna get it in no time. I just hope I have enough uh, resources to do it. If not, I'll get them through PVMing, or maybe I'll do a couple of farm runs, we'll see. That is 85 Herblore. That is 90 Herblore. I'm missing a couple of nests, so I'm only doing 11 at a time, but that is totally okay. Now that I have 90, well, basically 98 Herblore, I'm also able to upgrade my super combat potions. I get very little amount of XP for that, and I also lose a couple of crystal dust charges, uh, but still I'm gonna be utilizing those basically everywhere, so they are extremely useful for me. Just like so, we now have 81. I'm gonna keep a couple of regular, a couple of divines. It seems like we stop on 91 Herblore at the moment. Basically completely out of herbs, but every time I do raids, TOB, whatever I end up doing, I'm gonna get a ton of these, so I'll be able to finish 99 Herblore probably pretty easily. But as you can see, there is no herbs left in my bank. I made some of my hides craftable that I got from Vorkath, and I will see how much XP we got. I'm also running the thingy that saves a lot of my leather, so a lot of these things uh, just get sent back to my bank. Uh, but yeah, I'll quickly go through these, and hopefully I can get a couple of crafting levels. I feel like it would be really useful to get 99 crafting before I go on and do rune crafting. So I'm just gonna do small little things that I can with stuff that I have in my bank already, see what kind of level I get to, and then worst case scenario, I can always just go buy gems in the Tazar area um, to finish it off. But for now, let's use everything we already have. There are definitely better ways to go for 99 crafting, but at the moment, I am just using my last recall, trading the shop right here, buying every single thing I can find, and then just changing worlds. And we basically basically need about 3,000 sapphires in order to finish off my 99, so I guess that's what we are going for at the moment. A lot of hopping worlds later, we are now a proud owner of 1,984 uncut sapphires and 848 uncut emeralds. For now, let's go have some fun, uh, I, I need to change my fragments, and uh, yeah, let's get this 99 crafting then. Don't mind me, just casually getting 30 million uh, crafting XP, an hour. Seems pretty reasonable, and five more levels to go. Calculations were greatly wrong, we're only 96 crafting, so back to buying gems. Alright, uh, this took me a little bit longer than I would like to admit, and um, if you are planning on maxing, obviously, during these leagues, I would heavily recommend you to do it passively. For example, do raids... Raids 1, Raids 2, you're gonna get a ton of uncuts from those. Obviously, when you do Zolra, you're gonna get Flax and all sorts of things like that that are eventually going to basically give you the 99 crafting pretty much passively. However, I really wanted to, to get this 99 out of the way, so I do believe this right here should do it. And there it is, 99 crafting obtained on the account. It's gonna give me... A Honestly, the best cape in the game, because I can utilize it with the crystal memories to teleport right next to the bank. So let's go ahead and grab that, and from here on, I don't really have that much left. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time AFKing runecrafting, and from there, I'm basically going to be just PVMing and fletching at the same time. So basically, we're gonna grab all my feathers, we're gonna grab all our dart tips, and no matter what I'm doing in-game, I'm always gonna have these in my inventory, and constantly doing this. So I guess in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we will be maxing. In this one, we got super, super close. So in the next one, you can look forward to a ton of raiding, a ton of drops that I still don't have, but also maxing the account finally. Um, once again, I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you made it this far, I would first of all like to apologize for the lack of videos the last couple of days. Unfortunately, life kind of hit me hard and... Uh, 
you know, I just couldn't really play the game or I couldn't really focus on recording. I hope you can understand the leagues is still very long time ahead and I'm gonna make sure I post as many videos as possible, but also make them as fun as possible. Once again, thank you for understanding and if you made it this far into the video, please do let me know in the comments, maybe even give it a like. I'll see you again very soon with another upload and until then, have a beautiful day. Goodbye everybody, bye bye.